that this has to be your mom's mom. Okay. Is your mom's mom? That would mom, make sense. Okay, your mom's mom is in spirit, correct? Yes. But like, did she, she, she makes me feel like she really picked who she liked and who she didn't like. And she definitely picked who she liked and who she didn't like. Was she you also know? like this with her grandkids too? <laughs> yep. Because she's yeah. like, I was a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I was talking to her like a couple days ago and I was like, God, I love you, but you were such a bitch. Like, <laughs> I mean, honest to God, I was like, you are such a bitch. Like, I don't even, I don't even want to like, I try not to like make myself say those things or whatever, but I'm like, you were a bitch. Like, you know, I don't know what to say. I loved her to death, but she would say like, you're my favorite grandkid you know and she would like tell me why the other ones weren't you know what I mean and like I loved her because I like I was the favorite but like she was a bitch man <laughs> your grandmother wants to apologize uh to your mom I believe so were there were there moments where because like your grandma's really taking accountability and um uh she's really taking accountability of some decisions and choices it's almost like um um she should have she should have expressed some more love and appreciation earth side so did she not always say those things to your mom yeah I feel like it was almost on the contrary I feel like you know she would take a good experience and say something horrible you know or just you say something super mean just for nothing or like call my mom fat when she saw her for the first time in a while you know just an oh this is my cat sorry so um this is this makes so much sense because your grandmother and spirit is really wanting us to know and really wanting your mom to know that she is enough and that she is adequate enough and i'm going to tell you it's only souls that that lived the opposite on earth side that talk about those things in spirit she had to pass in order for her soul to 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 see life in a much different perspective and change and she i'm going to tell you she's like this is if if his mom watched this She's not going to believe you because this is not at all how I walk life. I did. I almost, I almost feel that way right now. I'm like, okay, like you know, like uh, you know. She's really taking. I know because she's really. That's where the privacy came in in the beginning. Because listen, I'm going to call a spirit out when I when I connect. I'm like, what do you want to say? Because this isn't for kicks and giggles. Just so you can come through and say, hey, you're you're at peace. I need you to let them know like some things. And so that's where the privacy thing was. Like, so what I, what I, as the, as the channeling is progressing, it's changing because the thing here is she's, she's not turning the other cheek. She's taking responsibility because the bottom line is she was hard to love and, and people, including your mom, saw through her soul intention that if she could only be this way, we could really have a great relationship. And, and your grandmother is really taking initiative here and saying I take responsibility I should have been different so that way the rest of our relationship should could have been different and it's one of those things where she stood in the way of having a good relationship with mom so she's acknowledging that and I think that this is a big deal because your mom needs to spiritually heal knowing that in spirit her mom is saying that she loves her and appreciates her and that she is more than enough and that she's sorry for all the hurtful damage because there's a lot there's a lot of threads there, this feeling of not belonged or feeling of not being validated or heard or listened to. It's like nothing I can do could level up or measure up. So it's, it's almost as though there's like this resentment and anger towards a mom that she wishes she could have had. So there's just a lot of issues here, but your, but your grandmother has really taken initiative. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because how crazy if I just said that and that was wrong. Like, what if you were like, no, right. this she was so sweet, sweet right. lady. And right. I'm like, that's not what I'm getting. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 none of that. We, you'd have the wrong guy for sure. <laughs> uh. How crazy. So, you know, that by allowing me to say that word to describe your grandmother, in which you just said to yourself, to her, she was present. Her soul was present. And that's really Well, neat. I'm glad she heard me. <laughs> okay, listen. All of a sudden, this little dog came in my lap. And I'm like, oh my God, you're so cute. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> She's my baby. Because 
you know, she is showing her little head bow. So I don't know, like, she's just like, she's trying to acknowledge her little cuteness. Um, yeah. And so, um, oh my goodness, one second. There's just something when, when I'm holding her, this like love and compassion, it's like soul to soul. Um, and so it's almost like, did you keep this with like the dar dog collar leash? Or oh my gosh, it's there! Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> how sweet! See, I'm not gonna cry over anyone else. You talk about my dog and like here. Oh, <laughs> going down, going down, putting down. Did you have to put her down? Sure. Yeah, we did. Okay, because she's like putting down, putting down. Um, um, did you have her for a long time? Super long time. He's like, I just, it was my life. It was my lifespan. I just hit that time in my block. It was like a bittersweet thing. Cause, um, so did she have stuff too? Like, did she have a health issue? Like, did she have health bone cancer or something with the inside? She, I mean, she was 17. She probably had everything, you know? My whole body, it's like my whole body yeah. and I'm not moving. So I'm just like. Right, oh, poor she, girl. Yeah. So she's trying to make sure that we understand that she, um, and then she keeps running in circles now. So she's one of the, she's like, I'm good. So she's trying to show me that she's good and fast now. So I don't know yeah, if, she, if she went from being fast to not being able to be fast. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so then was she cremated or who is cremated? Yeah, both of the my dogs were cremated. You have two dogs that were cremated. Okay, because they're, yeah. Because uh, that's why I was asking who, who's cremated because I got cremation in addition to her. So this is neat that you then will have two souls acknowledging cremations there. Um, yes. Well, listen, I think it's really cool for you to kind of understand the concept. Maybe I'm assuming this could be cool uh, where souls learn and they change and they pivot out of the role that they were intended to be on this planet, because it's that reason why your mom is who she is, or that's it's that reason why people around her and her orbit are the way that they are. And so from yeah. a spiritual advisor's perspective, you know, we give gratitude for the soul to take the shape of the role they needed to for the people around them to have the domino effect from the divine intervention that we all are experiencing. So it's one of those mm -hmm. things that without the people being who they are, we couldn't be who we're becoming. So how can we be grateful for who we are and not for those people who got us there, including sure. the villains? Uh, so exactly. it's one of those perspective changes, narrative adaptations where we can kind of change the way we look at relationships. Um, and, uh, so do you, so I don't know why I'm looking at a uh, RuPaul drag show, um, but are you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So is that something you like to watch or have you gone to like a live? Yeah, I've gone done that. Yeah, for sure. You've gone to sure. live? <laughs> right. That's why I'm at the live show. I'm like, I'm right. serious. So that's cool. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny and random. <laughs> but what a fun way for a spirit to let you know that they're around you, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're just so excited to watch you be happy. That's all this is. And it's That's just good. really, yeah. Now I get the culture stuff. Now I get like breaking free from maybe expectations or or feeling indifferent about maybe ways of living. But I mean, I yeah. your family accepts you. Is that right? Yeah. 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 That's what I'm getting. It's like accepting of the family. But it's strange because I almost feel like it should be a little more complicated or like a little more like it's almost like you feel like there should be more blocks for you to be who you want to be. And you create yeah, and those like, because there's nothing there. And so it's really neat for you to just have this opportunity of being completely free of being who you are and want to be. But you have to surrender to that because you, it's almost though like you see other people battling things that you don't have to. And so it's like, well, maybe I need to feel like I'm battling those so I can feel okay at appeasing myself to like, you know, so don't worry about all yeah. that. Like you've been gifted time to do whatever you want to do. And that's what matters. Your spiritual journey is yours. 